Scrat of the morning to you, dude. <coughs> oh, is that blood? I think that's blood. Okay, so I just got back uh, from Australia, and now I'm, like, super sick. <laughs> I mean, I had a really fun time. I stayed there for, like, 10 days. I had a blast at VidCon. I mean, I didn't really get to do much. But I did end up performing on stage on the last night, so that was really fun. Besides that, I had a really awesome time in Australia. It was really a new experience. The only thing, though, is that I came back with a sickness. I'm sick. Uh, ooh, yeah. Get it. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> I can't. <coughs> Ow. I hate coughing. So what I'm going to do instead of a full-on animated story, I'm going to be reading you <laughs> a story I made in the third grade. It was a comic book called Fireboy. I, I made it a long time ago. I, I don't know the age. All I know is this. It literally says written by Adam Ortiz Jr. in third grade. <laughs> and then illustrated by Adam Ortiz Jr. in third grade. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> it's great. It's brilliant. So for context, I used to make a lot of comics back in the day. Sadly, a lot of them got lost or they're somewhere in my mom's attic or something. But this was one that I just remembered making multiple prints of it because I thought I was going to be selling it to like millions upon millions of stores. I ended up putting it on eBay and I got one sale to a comic book store in uh, I think Sweden or something. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I made one sale. So yeah, let's read it. Once upon a time, there was a kid that always always got picked on. He always got shoved into his locker. Many times he was the laugh of the school. And my, my writing back then was so good. Why can't I write like that now? The funny thing is, is that my dad did proofread this, so I guess this was passable for him. Only two kids named Jerry and Melissa were his friends. Aww. <laughs> Who are these? I don't even know who Jerry and Melissa are. Did I just make up those names? They would stick up for him all the time, but then one day he needed them really bad, but they were sick. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> The picture is of me being horribly beaten. Then when he was walking home, he saw a crystal. It was cool at first until it went right into his body. Then a bad guy came and he turned into Fireboy. <laughs> oh, oh, my headphones fell off. <laughs> this is really dumb. Oh, there's a Fliparama. Oh, I forgot about this. Do you guys remember Fliparamas from Captain Underpants? <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Hold up, hold up, okay. You guys can't see this, but it's really cool. <laughs> then when he took his mask off, he realized that was just a test. Of course it was. <laughs> Why would it be? It was a it was a test of so the bad guy. Ended up be, he ended up being a good guy after all. That guy knew what was gonna happen, so he put on some metal. You know, as you do when you're a Deity, probably. <coughs> when he got home, he didn't want to tell his parents what- Oh, I, I can't re I can't tell what it says. There's- It's like- It's like stapled wrong. When he got home, he didn't want to tell his parents that he had power, so he hid his secret identity. Then he went into his room and he turned on his TV. He saw the news. The news said- <laughs> The news said, We are missing a crystal. Ha! N oh, ha oh I think it was, uh-oh. Ha, oh, I have that crystal inside me. There's no indicator on who's talking, so it could still be the narrator. <laughs> then a giant monster came, so he tried to fly, and he did. He fought until he finally beat it up, and he won, and the monster ran away. Then everyone started cheering, of course, of course. <laughs> then everyone started cheering. That's how you know a story's real. And he became the hero of the school. And he told Jerry and Melissa about his special powers. <laughs> and then that's the end. I guess, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. I mean, it's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, hey, I made a comic book when I was younger and I sold it. I think that's a pretty good accomplishment. There's like a picture of me and my family at the end and there's like bubbles. Hi, I'm Adam. I hope you liked my story. <laughs> That's me. That's what I sound like.